The National Council on Aging has published 10 myths, make that 10, about the incidence of falling, of falling. You know, most people think that falling is just a normal part of aging. I get older, I'm gonna fall. So let's dispel the myths. Falling happens to other people, not to me, say the elders. Well, guess what? 12 million elders fall every year in the U.S. That first thing I said, myth number two, falling is a normal part of aging. In reality, strength and balance exercising, managing your medication, having your vision checked, and making your living environment safe are all steps you can take to prevent a fall. Myth number three, if I limit my physical activity, I won't fall. Well, guess what? Performing physical activities will actually help you stay independent as your strength and range of motion benefit from remaining active. Myth number four, I can avoid falling by staying home. Well, guess what? Over half of all falls take place at home. So you really need to uh, inspect your home for fall risks. Myth number five, muscle strength and flexibility can't be regained. Well, we do lose a certain amount of muscle mass as we age, but exercise can partially restore strength and flexibility. Myth number six, taking medication doesn't increase my risk of falling. Well, read any medication label and about driving heavy machinery, obviously it certainly does. I don't need to get my vision checked every year. Well, this is pretty obvious, but vision is another key risk factor for, flaw, for falls. Myth number eight, using a walker or a cane will make me more dependent. Guess what? Those things are there for a reason. Walking aids are very important in the lives of many older adults, helps them maintain or improve mobility. Except you gotta make sure that you use the devices safely. I don't need to talk to my family. Well, guess what? Fall prevention is a team effort according to NCOA. Bring it up with your doctor, your family, and anyone else. And myth number 10, the kind of opposite of that one, I don't need to talk to my parent or other older adult if I'm concerned about their health and well-being and their potential of having a fall. You absolutely do need to talk to them. And you actually maybe when you're talking to them need to go through the other nine myths that we just covered and that you can read about as well. Thanks.